Hello everyone. I hope all of us are well. I am Ansu Rahman working as a software engineer at FSCOT. In this webinar, I am presenting a feature in our QSTERS project as PVC backup restore and workload volume cloning. Let's deep dive into the table of contents section. Uh, at first, uh, streamline PVC backup and process. Uh, effortless PVC restore procedure, trouble-free workload volume cloning, live walkthrough and demonstration, and at last QA session. Here is the PVC backup flow. If you are using a PVC that uh, can be mounted in multiple workload, you might want to backup this PVC independently of your workload. This diagram gives you an overview how you can backup a standalone PVC using our QV stash. At first, a user create a backup storage. QV stash operator watch this backup storage. After that, user also create backup configuration. Operator watch this backup configuration and create repositories. QStash operator watch these repositories until the repository is ready. When the repositories is ready, QStash operator will create the cron job. And cron job is responsible for creating backup session. Cron jobs creates backup session periodically and periodic periodic schedule will provide it inside the backup configuration YAML. QStash operator watch this backup session and wait until the backup session is ready. When the backup session is ready, QStash operator create snapshots. In the meantime, QStash operator also resolve add-on. After resolving add-on, the operator creates backup job. Uh, let's uh, see there, backup job mounts our target PVC and multiple workload volume also mounts this target PVC. And this target PVC also binds with APV. This backup job is responsible for backing up our target PVC into bucket repository. This is all about the backup flow of PVC. And here is PVC restore flow. In this diagram, we we gives an overview how QVStash restore flow work for a single PVC restore. First of all, user creates a restore session. QVStash operator watch this restore session and pause the backup configuration. Operator after that operator resolve the add-on and creates restore job. Have you noticed that this restore job mounts our restored PVC? This PVC also mounts with another workloads. And this job is responsible for restore data from the bucket repository to into this PVC as the target PVC. Uh, let's, let's PVC backup and restores live demo. Here I am opening my terminal window. Inside the terminal window, this terminal section, I am watching backup configuration. This terminal section, I am watching backup session. This section for snapshot, this section is for restore session. And this section, I am watching ports. For isolate everything, I am creating all of this in, uh, in demo namespace. Uh, before applying backup uh, backup configuration, I, first of all, let's talk about backup storage. For simplicity, I apply backup storage before. Let's get the backup storage YAML first. As you see, this is my backup storage YAML. 
under the storage uh, i use a3 compatible backup uh, uh, backup storage and my bucket name is cube stash and prefix name is sunny uh, before creating backup configuration let's talk about our target pvc yaml This is our target PVC ML. At first, I am going to I am creating I am going to creating a PV, which uh, PV is, is use storage as host past. Uh, after that, I am going to create a persistent volume claims as demo PVC. This PVC will use that PV. Uh, let's apply this PV and PVC first. Uh, uh, as you can see, my my PVC is in pending steps. Let's describe why this is this is in pending step. Oh, let's wait. PWD from which directory I am here. Yes. Uh, Docker exited. Systems, okay. As you can see, my demo PVC as target PVC status inbound. Uh, now go to, uh, and I am using uh, uh, this PVC as uh, two different spots uh, volume section. Let's see this spots uh, YAML. Uh, here is two pot, two sample pot. These spots are touching uh, their volume section as my target PVC. And this pod uh, will create uh, uh, volume mounts, the sample data directory. And inside this directory, this pod creates a sample hello.txt file. Uh, uh, as same as pod two, demo pod two, this pod also creates a, a, a hello.txt file under the mount part directory. And let's create the this workload pod. As you can see, these workload ports are running states. If I exec this port, then we can under the under the mount port section we find our desired data. Let's exec this port and see. inside our mount part directory. Let's go inside our mount part directory. Inside our mount part directory, we, we see that hello.txt file contains here. Uh, for port two as same, let's exec the port two direct port two. And go through under the mount part directory. As you can see, and for port two, everything same under the sample data mount part directory, you'll find hello.txt file. 
before applying backup configuration, let's see backup configuration YAML, how it looks like. Here is my backup configuration. Inside the target section, I provide my target PVC name as demo PVC. After that, inside the backup section, backend section, I provide my backup storage's name as S3 storage. After that, in the session section, I provide uh, a schedule as two. That means uh, Cron Jobs creates a backup session uh, in every two minutes. Here also I provide repositories. Uh, backup um, backup data will be in store inside this repository under this backup storage. Let's apply this backup configuration and see what's happened. Here I apply backup configuration. And you can see that backup configuration phase is ready. If everything goes well, then you can see backup session inside this terminal section. Uh, uh, in the meantime, uh, I can show you the repository inside our backup storage. Uh, as I am using Linode Cloud Storage, let's see. Uh, backup storage uh, repository section. Uh, here is my prefix directory, backup storage prefix directory. Here is my PVC backup repository. You can see this repository is initialized. And let's wait a little moment. Um, until the backup session is triggered by cron job. In the meantime, here are the snapshots, here are some directories where the backup data will be stored. Let's wait a little moment. As you can see, our backup session are triggered. And in, this is, he's in running, it is in running phase. And the backup job provides, a, um, creates a backup pod. And this is our backup pod is initializing. Uh, let's wait until the backup, con, uh, backup session is ready. As you can see that our backup session is in succeeded phase. Now, now time to restore our data from cloud. Let's talk about uh, some YAML about our for rest before applying restore session. As I am restoring uh, my backup data into another PVC, let's talk about this restore target PVC. First, at first, I am going to creating a, a restore host PVC as this PV is using host path backup uh, storage. After creating this restore host PV, I'm going to apply Restore our our restore target P, PVC as restore demo PVC. This PVC will bounce with that PV. Let's apply this PVC.
as you can see our restore pvc is in pending pending section let's again get this Let's again apply this. As you can see, our restored demo PVC status inbound. That's mean our restore our restored uh, target PVC is ready. Now, now our uh, this restored uh, this target restored PVC will be mounting uh, to different port. Let's check out this port CML. Uh, here is our um, our desired uh, port. This port uh, mounts uh, this this port mounts uh, sample data mount path, and you can see in the command line section there is no uh, data inserted. So if we exact this port and uh, insert this mount path directory, it will be empty. Uh, uh, this port, all of these ports are using their volume as our restored target uh, PVC. Let's apply this restored port. First of all, let's get, let's check the dog, our host path. Inside this directory, any data have or not. As you can see, there is no data. So let's apply our restored port. As you can see, our restore port container is creating and restore port container is running. If I exec this port, I see nothing inside this mount part directory. Let's exec this and validate this. As you can see, inside the sample path directory, here is no data. For the demo, uh, restore demo port two are also be same. Let's exact it, it also. As you can see, inside the mount path directory has no data. And after creating restore session, uh, we can we can see data inside this mount part directory. Uh, before applying rest restore session, let's talk about uh, restore session EML. Here is my restore session EML for restoring our target PVC from the our here i data source uh, inside the data source uh, uh, section i i provide repository name and snapshot as latest and here is our target restore target pvc name which are mounting into multiple port let's apply this restore session Let's apply this. As you can see, our restore session is in running state. And our restore session is running. Let's wait until the rest. As you can see, the our restore session phase is succeeded. Now time to exec our restore pod. As I exact this restore demo pod one, let's go to the mount part directory. 
and hope inside this is everything goes well i hope inside this directory we found our desired data yes as you can see here is our hello.txt file which i back up which i back up inside before our restore session apply so if i can uh, open this file we can see our desired text as hello from proton uh, now now let's exact another port for ver verifying the data inside mount part directory data have or not As you can see here, you find the hello.txt data. Uh, this is all about the PVC backup and restore. Let's go through the another, uh, another, another slide section. Uh, this uh, this section I am describing uh, volume cloning flow. Uh, let's see how's the volume, uh, how's the problem volume cloning feature solve in Kubestash. If you back up uh, workload volume, volume using Kubestash, then you might want to restore uh, uh, this workload volume into PVCs. You can provide a template inside uh, a template for PVC inside the backup session YAML. Uh, and QVStash operator is responsible for creating this PVC. Uh, this diagram will give you an overview how volume flowing feature work in QVStash. Uh, at first, user create the restore session. QVStash operator watch this restore session. And QVStash operator pose the backup configuration. After that, QVStash operator resolve the add-on. The inside the when the QVStash operator resolving the add-on, QVStash operator also create or target PVC. This PVC involve information is provided under the restore session PVC template. After that, the QVStash operator creates a restore restore jobs. Here I mentioned that uh, restore here multiple restore jobs can be created. It depends on the replicas, replicas, uh, number of replicas you using in your application. And this restore job ma also, uh, also mounts these created PVCs. And this job is res responsible for restore our uh, data from the bucket repository. Here is the workload volume cloning live demo section let's go out or again go out our ta our terminal for the simplicity and clear preview i delete some application as some ports and some pvc as well Uh, before applying the restore session, let's talk about the restore session YAML first. First of all, I have to back up uh, a stateful set application, which I back up early. Here is my stateful set application YAML. In this Inside the stateful set application YAML, I mount two paths as source slash data and source slash config. And in the argument, you, you can see that I created a data.txt file inside the source data directory. And I also created config.cfg file inside the conf source config directory. Uh, so if I exact any port, 
of state food cell application and if i go through this directory this any of those directory we should find data.txt and config.cfc file for simplicity and better preview i already back up this application let's check out our backup data backup encrypted data inside inside our cloud provider This is our cloud provider uh, bucket storage. Here I am backupping uh, backup previously my stateful set application and inside the repository directory, you will found workload backup as repository. And inside this repository directory, you found a pod zero directory. That means inside the pod zero directory, you'll find uh, QV stash pod zeros, all of data, as encrypted and inside the pod on directory of uh, here is store pod on encrypted data as i previously mentioned that uh, my 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 stateful set application has two replica for that uh, inside the workload backup here is only two directory and i am going to restore um, data from this uh, from this repository Let's go over to my terminal section. And for the simplicity also, I am I am watching uh, this terminal section PVC because of uh, our restore session and creates multiple PVCs. Here you see that there is no PVC inside our, our demo name space. Now let's talk about our restore session YAML. Here is my restore session YAML for cloning workload volume. As you can see, uh, inside the data source, I, I give repository name and, and snapshot as latest. And this is my snapshot, which I I create backup uh, uh, before. After that, uh, I I give uh, as I mentioned before that uh, I can provide a template of PVC in restore session, uh, restore session YAML. Here is the temp uh, PVC templated, which will be created by this restore session. Uh, search operator. Let's apply this restore session and see uh, what created or not. As... Sorry, this is PBC. Here I am applying restore session YAML. As you can see, restore session is uh, is phase is pending, and you can see all of our desired PVC are created. And restore session, and you can see two ports are running. These ports have the responsibility to create uh, to uh, restore data from the cloud storage. And you can see our restore session phase is succeeded. Now time to validate, time to validate data has been and inside this, uh, those PVC, uh, PVC have or not. For the validating data, I am, I am applying a stateful set, another stateful set application, which uh, will, which will be uh, using volume as this uh, all of those PVC. That means all of those PVCs are mounting by this state stateful set application. 
let's see this stateful set applications yaml for validity as you can see uh here i use mount path as restore data uh, as inside the restore data all of all of the res, uh, re, re, restore data will be um, provided here and also restore config inside the restore config directory uh, config.cfg data will be here and pvc template name as per our, our newly created pvc and replicas to let's apply this stateful set application and verify the data As you can see, uh, our stateful set application is restore demo is created. And here is my my stateful set ports is running. There's, let's exact this port and verify inside the mount part directory data have or not. So let's exact this. Inside the restore data directory, As you can see inside the data dot uh, restore slash data directory, you'll find data.txt uh, file. Let's get uh, open this data.txt and you will find the backup uh, stateful set applications pod name. And here my backup stateful set pod name uh, uh, was uh, uh, kiwi stash demo zero. So if I exact the restore demo one, then I find uh, I found Kivistash demo one. Uh, let's exact this one also for verifying. Uh, here you can see data.txt. Let's open it. Uh, here you can see that uh, Kivistash demo one. That's all about today's webinar. If you have uh, any questions regarding this webinar, you can ask. Oh, okay. I think there is no cushion and thank you.